Hello, welcome back to the A to Z of archaeology. This week we're looking at the letter B, and B stands for burials. Now, um, as we've just seen, burials form uh, a very dramatic, but also a ubiquitous form of evidence in the archaeological record. Um, human deposition, or the remains of humans, take many different forms. Human remains vary from the plague pits of Venice to the grand gilded height of Tutankhamun's mummy in Cairo. Human remains come in the form of many thousands of bog bodies across Europe, which are extremely well preserved, to the less well preserved, but nonetheless extremely poignant Neolithic burials. Sometimes bodies are extremely well preserved in ice, such as John Torrington from Alaska. And occasionally, excavations are even necessary on relatively recent graveyards. Sometimes, burials and human remains even take the form of children. So, in this way, Simon Mays, in his book, The Archaeology of Human Bones, can be supremely confident when he states that human remains are the most direct evidence of past populations. And indeed, to a certain extent, he's right. Human remains can tell us an awful lot about people in the past. Human remains, particularly bones, are extremely useful for learning about the past. We can tell a person's height, their health, their age, um, through the quality of their teeth, we can tell even where they've grown up. So skeletons and human remains are very useful for measuring populations and getting a sense of what people in general in the past were like. So in theory, the more samples we gain, the better the overall picture of the past we have. However, we must always remember what it is that we're excavating when we are excavating human remains. All too often it can be, be either exciting or nothing or little more rather than a geometric exercise, remembering that the you know the hip bones are connected to the leg bone, that kind of thing. Um, whereas burials are much more than simply where people are laid down. Burials carry with them an innate human drama. Here we see the funeral procession for John F. Kennedy. And it's very clear that what we're actually seeing is a whole society imbuing that burial with their values. Burials, it must be remembered, serve the needs of the living probably more than they serve the needs of the dead. They offer a way for people to uh, focus and say goodbye to the person who has died. Indeed, some go so far as to say that because you don't bury yourself, the individual is completely lost in the grave, and therefore graves almost never represent the people who are actually buried. So, as we've seen, burials are a very complicated element in archaeology. They um, simultaneously provide us with the most evidence uh, for uh, the physicality of past populations, but they also bring with them an inherent responsibility to be respectful. Um, and also complications as to what it is that we're excavating. Um, for example, when an archaeological excavation um, is undertaken and it's suspected that human remains will be present, uh, in this country you need to get a licence from the government, uh, and in this licence there are certain provisos. So, for example, you will treat the human remains with dignity, you will, um, if necessary, screen them from public view, and actually on an excavation where I was recently working, um, I was asked to actually go and talk to the, the local members of the public um, as they came past, if only just to explain what it was we were doing and reassure them that we're being respectful. After all, um, it could have been some of their ancestors that we were ex excavating. So, you know, again, it's something to consider. Uh, these were once people, in other words. So, um, hopefully, uh, this has given you a, an understanding of... Um, of burials, why they're important to archaeologists, but also the, the steps and respect that archaeologists have to afford a burial. Um, hopefully you found the video useful. Uh, if you want, feel free to make comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, message me and I'll get back to you. Uh, we have a lovely, lovely, lovely Facebook page now. All you need to do is search for Archaeo Suit Productions and click like and uh, anything that's not on um, this, this YouTube page should appear on there. Um, and also, of course, feel free to subscribe, and you won't be able to get away. So, um, thank you very much. Thank you.